Bryce Seidel with uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins uh, today. And ben Wofley, I don't know if you're going to stick with that tonight, but uh, just your thought on that look and maybe the options that you have. Yeah, we won't stick with that tonight. Leon will play in the middle tonight, his first game coming back, and um, certainly have options. With the way Drake Kajula has performed to this point, he's, uh, he's played a very admirable game and uh, been a factor in each of them. So he's allowed us to think about some other things, um, one being Leon on the, uh, on the wing, but it's certainly not written in stone. We've got a lot of uh, preseason left to play, and uh, we've got a number of decisions we need to make moving forward. Can we ask you to be able to skate with today? Leon will have uh, Patrick Mar Maroon and Yak. Kajula's first game off, uh, he's had, he said he's had a really good show so far. What, what does he need to do in one or two of those last preseason games? Well, he's got to rest first. Um, it's been taxing on him. Um, a lot of the college players aren't accustomed to playing um, game after game and, and uh, hauling big bodies around. So um, he's got to adjust, but he's a mature player. He's got a mature body and, and a pretty good approach to, uh, uh, to the daily routine. So I think he'll get the rest that he needs. And then, um, you know, after that, if he just keeps playing the way he is, he has an impact every night. He shoots the puck. He makes plays. Uh, looks comfortable on the power play. He's been able to penalty kill. Uh, it's not a bad menu for, uh, for a rookie coming into training camp for the first time. Todd, with, with Leon, um, there's maybe this notion that, uh, I don't know, maybe he ran out of gas a bit last year or was tired or something along those lines. How do you handle his minutes through the year? Do you feel you need to curb them in, in any way, shape, or form, or do you just play him as a, as a play dictator? Well, we'll play him, and, and um, you know, we've got to keep an eye on uh, the fatigue factor of the whole group. Um, this year is a, a strange year because we're starting a little bit later. Things are compacted. Uh, there's a mandatory five-day break off uh, for each of the teams during the season, which is odd, but they'll get some rest then. But uh, Leon, in particular, had a real good uh, first two-thirds and then uh, puttered out a little bit at the end. But um, that can be attributed to the team as a whole, um, him individually, but also him still uh, growing into that body and being able to, to move it around. Um, you know, we forget he was only 20 last year. He's still a young man that's learning to how to haul it around. I thought he had a tremendous um, World Cup, was a, was a factor in their success, scored some big goals and played responsible all over the rink. And he looks uh, fairly confident coming back, so hopefully he can carry that on. The decision night in, night out, whether to play him as a center or play him as a winger, is it, you know, based opponent-wise, will it be, do you think, or how much moving back and forth do you think he'll be doing? Well, some of it, or a lot of it, will be based on what the other pieces are um, within our within our group. And, um, you know, who's going to play in that three hole at center ice? Um, it can be Leon. It could be a number of different guys. Uh, the opponent will come into play. Injuries, fatigue, road, home. Uh, there's a lot of factors that come into play. Todd, how much of it is just strictly, is there enough ice time to roll three lines? And, and you know, a guy like Leon, if he's going to produce, needs to play. Nugent Hopkins, obviously, Connor. Is, is that the toughest balance? Well, it's, it's a tough question to answer because you don't want to, uh, um, depreciate the value that the, the third or fourth line has. So uh, you have to be careful with the way you answer this. But, um, you know, sometimes your top six need to play with each other because they're getting big minutes. They're, uh, they're probably at a different level when it comes to reading, reacting, and executing um, than your bottom six. Your bottom six tend to be uh, the grinder type players. But uh, successful teams have three lines that are up and running, and they get a lot of role play out of their fourth lines, whether it's Face-offs, penalty kill, shot blocking, uh, toughness, that type of stuff. And um, as we go forward, we're going to have to make decisions, as I mentioned earlier, on a nightly basis. Todd, how close are you to uh, naming a captain and how will that uh, process work? We'll get there. It'll happen well before uh, opening day. So I guess that's, what, a week or not eight days away. Um, and we're well into the process. Um, everybody's back now uh, from the World Cup, which was something that we were waiting for. We weren't going to do... Uh, anything until our group was together. Sorry, uh, is this an important night for Yakupov? Is this opportunity tonight to show us something? Oh, well, it's an important night for everybody. Um, you know, to zero it down to one player I don't think is fair, but um, obviously Yak is trying to, to get his game going and, and get some confidence and, and find line mates and uh, but everybody has to perform. We're eight days away from uh, for playing for real. And we've got a lot of work to do in, in a lot of different areas. Todd, any uh, news on Brandon Davidson? Uh, day to day. He looks good today, but he's still day to day. The new Versteeg is Versteeg? Versteeg is, yeah, Versteeg's day to day as well, lower body. Hero, what Eric Rada brings to the table. 
you seen anything different uh, this year? Uh, no, I, Gribes has come in and, and been real hungry. The, the thing that Eric has going here for him is that we all appreciate what he does do. And he plays hard for his teammates. He plays hard for his team. Tremendous penalty killer. Um, block shots. Sticks up for his teammates. He's a good guy in the locker room. So there's a lot of really good things that, that Gribes has going for him here. Um, we're all cheering for him, which is also real important. We want him to be part of the group. And uh, we'll keep giving him opportunities. We'll see where he ends up. Uh, well, one twenty-third of it will be, and uh, that's probably the best way of putting it. Your goaltenders have to be, uh, you know, they've got to win you games during the season. Um, does the start uh, qualify as that? Maybe, but uh, everybody around them has to get going and, and perform at a high level. Uh, we want a great start. Uh, but the season is 82 games long, and we've got to play every one like it's the last one and obviously win more than we lose, and uh, we've got to take a step forward. Um, when you look at what we did last year, we've got to get better in a lot of areas.